Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to see how we can update user profile properties of yours and as well as other users using Power Automate. So for this, I have just opened my SharePoint Admin Center so that I can just go to user profile just to validate that uh, whether my user profile exists and there are properties which are blank which I can update going forward. So I'm just searching my name. And I'll just show you what profile properties I have right now. So only three these initial properties I have about me is some garbage and department is blank, title is blank. So I'm going to update any of this property using Power Automate. So I'll just log on to Power Automate. And for this, I'll be creating one instant flow because I'll be just showing you uh, how to actually update the property. So in real time, you can tie up with any SharePoint list where a user actually like and enter their values. For example, they enter about me, their own department, their phone numbers. So from there, like you can pick up all those properties and can bind that up. For demo, I'll be just triggering it manually. The trigger would be manual. So I'm just saying update user profile props and create it. So for updating any user profile property, I'll be using this send HTTP action. So I'll just search for send HTTP action. And if you see in site address, if I click on any of the site address when I'm having access for example this one and when I use this post so let me just uh, quickly like fill out all these stuff so that we can talk more about like what site address you should be using if you want to update yours or if you want to update anybody's user profile on behalf of you so I just selected one of my this dev site and I just changed that to post and in URI, I'll be just copying that from my notepad. So this API SP user profile people manage slash set single value property. So I'll be using this endpoint. And under the headers, the standard headers, I'll enter accept application JSON, no metadata, and content type again application json and code it as no matter all right so now because there's a post query post uh, method and we'll be adding the body so that it can add to the payload and update actions for us so i've just copied this body with property so you can see i have account name and in account name you have to provide the login name of the person like whom you want to update, whom you want to do the profile property update. So in about me, I can just type in about me, I can update any other properties. So I'm just using, for example, I'm using about me for this scenario. So once I save it, I made this send HTTP request with all the parameters required. And if I test it, and I'm running that manually, run flow, Okay, so it ran successfully and my property should be updated by now. I'll just refresh and I should see something in about me. Yep, so it got saved. But right now the, the method which I just showcase you is only being used to update my own properties. So if I use any other, uh, for example, any other person I'm just picking my colleague's name and if I try to update this guy let me just copy the account name and just paste it and if I say save and if I run it 
we should be getting error and error would be for the access so you can see error details the operation require you to be managing your own data should be have administrative privileges so i can't do this operation normally so i can only update my own profile properties so how to handle this so to handle this you have to be a admin of your sharepoint admin center and when initially we selected this site address these are one of my dev site address we have to select the tenant admin address so i just enter a custom value and in the custom value i have just entered my tenant, ad tenant address this is xmg admin sharepoint.com and if i save it now and if i try to run it it should do the update it the flow should work fine so it did run successfully we'll just validate with this user profile about me property now you can see this is being updated so this this is a thing you have to keep in your mind if you would like to update properties for some other users then run this sends or send this http request to admin if the site address admin and the uri would be the same so there is again like one thing to be taken care and the other thing for example let's say i am in this user profile and i would like to update this title so i'm just updating this title and in title i'll just add the let's say project manager so if i save and if i try to run it test it manually then you can see like this title got updated and why this got updated is because this title was set as the if i just go to this title and in the user profile properties it was set to update allow manual entries so this is the property added settings so if your column is not being updated is not allowing you to update anything then what you can do is like you can ask your profile administrator user profile administrator or if you are your user profile administrator then you can just check this property and have that click ok because sometimes it, it would happen that it would not it would just keep on running forever so in that fashion so if your pro if all the rest of the properties you can update but couple of them are not updating then just go to the user profile properties and check for that for example check for this work phone and check whether the that allow added user property checkbox is true or not if that is true that means like via flow or via any send http rest uh, request you would able to update this property and if it's not checked then it would not get updated so these are the two things you have to keep in mind if you would like to update any other person's user profile property you should be a uh, user profile administrator and should be running or sending that request with our tenant admin address and if you would like to update any property that should be allow added user uh, properties uh, or this checkbox under the user profile properties so i hope uh, this was a quick video and you must got it working as well so i believe like we are good and if you have any questions comments then please reach out to me and also subscribe to my channel thank you